multi-threading in C++. When you run a program, the operating system creates something that's called a process, which can have multiple threads running in it in parallel. A process is an independent program with its own memory space. A thread is a smaller unit of a process sharing memory with other threads. So this process is an independent program, cannot share variables or memory with other processes, but the threads that are inside this process can share memory. In C++, you can easily create a thread using SCD thread and pass a function that you want the thread to run to its constructor. After you create a thread, you call t.join, which is a blocking action and makes the main function to wait for the thread to finish. So main runs, at some point, it creates a thread, the thread and main run at the same time until at some point main gets blocked, which is waiting for this other thread to finish. Once this is finished, main can continue and move on with other things. Alternatively, instead of t.join, you can call t.detach. As the name suggests, this detaches the thread from the main thread. And once this is called, both threads can call independently and move on with their lives. In general, when you create a thread, you must call either t.join or t.detach. t.join is more common, it's a blocking action, and it keeps the ownership with the launcher thread. t.detach is less common, it's usually used in a pattern called fire and forget, it's a non-blocking action, and it releases the ownership from the main thread. I want to emphasize that once you create a thread, you must call either t.join or t.detach in the same way that in C++, for every new, there should be a corresponding delete. If you forget to do this, SCD terminate will be called and your program will be terminated abnormally. Another way to create a thread in C++ is to call the SCD thread constructor, but instead of passing a standalone function to it, create a Lambda function in place. Some people find this more convenient, especially because we can capture some of the main thread's variables inside this thread. You can also pass variables to your thread. So here, the thread takes one variable, and if you want to pass a value to that variable, you simply add that as the second parameter of your thread constructor. If you want to pass more parameters, you simply add them here, one after another, and they will all be passed by value. If you want to pass a parameter by reference, you can wrap them inside SCD ref so that you make sure this parameter is passed by reference and there will be no copy. Note that all of these functions don't return anything. The return type is void. And in fact, the main thread cannot receive any return value. One way to return a value is to create a reference and write inside that reference. Note that again, I am wrapping this variable inside SCD ref. Once the thread joins, you can access this variable and read its value. As I mentioned, threads can share variables and have shared memory. Here, we have this variable called counter. We create two threads that run the same function, which accesses this shared variable. In order to make sure this program runs correctly and it avoids something called the race condition, you should create something that's called a critical section that can be created using SCT mutex and a lock. For more information about mutexes, critical sections, and locks, please watch my video using the link in the description. Also, if you want to go deeper into C++ threads and learn more concepts like the cool SCDJ thread, SCD async, and other things, please make sure to watch my video series on C++ multi-threading. Thank you so much for watching this, and i see you next time.